Hi folks, this is Deepak Shanoi from Capital Mind taking you through Capital Mind Snap's technical charting attributes. We've got a great tool for you that you can access by simply clicking on any of these two links, which is snap.capitalmind.in slash charting, that's for cash stocks in the NSE, or charting slash FNO, which gives you the futures and options charting. We have uh, some very interesting uh, technical charting capabilities. You've got, uh, we use something called Trading View. Uh, and let's go through some of the features that will that uh, we can see in the trading view charts. If you access snap.capitalmind.in slash charting, you start off with the nifty. We've added an indicator in the bottom as a default, uh, the moving average convergence divergence or the MACD. You can actually use this. This is a pretty phenomenal charting engine. So you can roll it left and right. Charts get updated automatically. You can uh, zoom in or zoom out. Use the plus or minus buttons to zoom in or zoom out. You can draw trend lines. So if you were to just do this, for instance, draw a trend line like this, let's zoom out a little, add another maybe array that kind of extends to the right. So you've got something like this and which goes in till here. This uh, is a different color. We can, you could change the colors by just double clicking and uh, changing the color to perhaps orange. Uh, you could color, change the colors right here, add a number of things like you can hide or uh, if you use the object tree, you can unhide whatever you've hidden. You can also uh, change the chart attributes. You can use bars, candles, lines, and another form of charting, which we don't really uh, recommend because uh, honestly, that's not very well documented. So you've got um, <clears throat> the line charts as well. You've got uh, bars as well. You can use either or whatever suits your uh, charting purpose. You also have a bunch of indicators. So you click on this or just use the forward slash button. Just click forward slash anytime. This indicator will pop up. So you could use an accumulation distribution indicator, for instance, and you could add it. It just gets added on. If you want to change the attributes, for instance, I want a color, I want to, I want to add a price line to it. So it shows you the absolute um, last value and where it stands with the respect to the past. That's a great way to look at uh, uh, the current value in comparison with the past. You can hide it, you can close it right from here. You can also change a number of the colors and attributes or the inputs. For instance, the MACD has a 1226.9 parameter. You could change this if you like. You can also um, change however you uh, want the precision to be, if you want uh, the scales to come on the left axis or the right, you could even say I want an MACD price line for all of the attributes uh, coming in. The, some of the other pieces that will interest you as a technical chartist would be the number of things that you could do with it. So for instance, you could draw a pitchfork pattern right here. And uh, while you know many of these patterns are not something we are, we are we're all masters in each person brings in his own level of qualification so you might you might say that listen i like i want to see the fibonacci retracement of say this entire move of the nifty and you know there you go so we are at approximately 50 percent you'd know this instantly looking at the colors you could save this as well we'll have another video on saving and loading charts but you could for instance save uh, the chart so that you can come back to it anytime as prices update as well so um, you can just use the delete button to delete whatever indicator you don't like and uh, you can also add a number of other patterns, the more complex uh, elite wave patterns and some of the other patterns that we've got over here. You could use them uh, uh, in, your, in your charting as well. <clears throat> Apart from that, you have the ability to plot position. So for instance, let us say I decided that, listen, this was a great place I would have liked to go long in and uh, I would keep the stop loss as a previous low. So if I were here, I would say I want to get in here with a stop around, with a stop around, uh, I want to change the stop down to 6.3. Well, I want to change the stop to about 7,400 just to give you an idea of how that is uh, being done. So you get you get an idea and you get a target of the last high. So this was your chart. So you wanted to get in a long at this point. 
and uh, go up. So you can actually see this chart in comparison with how it actually looked on that day. So it's a, well, this is the point I was. I want to target the last high and I want to take a stop at approximately the last low. So this is where my, my hit is and that gives you an idea of how this position actually lasted. It actually made you 5.73 with a 2.7, 2.1% uh, loss. You could plot positions and then you have a number of other measures. So for instance, I want to see how much it took from one high to the other and that's, that's approximately 38 days, 25 bars. You could do the same thing to measure something else. So for instance, the time between two intermediate swing lows. We're talking 95 days between these two lows. Uh, these are interesting ways just to measure. They're not useful for the chart. You can also save the chart. Just click this and it automatically saves the entire chart as it is. So as big as your window is, the chart image is that big. You can click it. You can save this onto your blog or tweet it out right from here by clicking the tweet button. Um, one of the things that is very, very cool that we, we really like is the ability to move into log and non-log mode in one, uh, in one stretch and also to be able to change the time frames immediately. So you want to change it to a weekly, uh, you just click W and you've got it. So it takes a couple of minutes to load the chart. And here you see that we've got the nifty on a weekly mode. We can, uh, the studies remain as they are, so you can actually remove them or delete them however you want them. And uh, the coordinates remain as well. Um, you also have the ability, and we've talked about this in other videos, where you can compare the Nifty to, say, the Bank Nifty. And if we were to do that, we would uh, see that the Bank Nifty gets added in and it's a percentage chart. So you get the percentage difference from the time you started. The extreme left is the point at which the comparison starts. And you could go in and see whether, uh, for instance, in 2015, so if I just started the chart in 2015, I can see that the Bank Index has underperformed the Nifty substantially. Uh, how much and let me let's let's try and mark that in the chart you go to the settings go to style um, sorry you go to scales and I say well, I want uh, symbol labels so that's going to give me the bank and the nifty and I want their last values as well so it's going to point the last values point minus 10 percent for the bank nifty and uh, so well that vanished you could, I think that's because I didn't say okay and uh, we've got uh, you know the bank labels and symbol labels as well. So you immediately see what's happening uh, if you have a lot of items in the chart. One of the things that uh, you might also like is that the uh, indicators themselves have a bunch of things that we will add going on. So some of the things that we don't have right now, um, these are all standard, they come with the trading view package. We'll add more to this uh, as we go on. Finally, you've got the ability to save, uh, as we said, onto the save the layout as, as a JPEG, or you just have to click Save Chart Layout, and you just call this the Nifty and Bank Nifty, and you can load them back whenever you like. And if you want to load them, load one of the others. So, for instance, I created a dinosaur pattern, and I drawn this on the chart with. Uh, uh, you know, with, with the chart elements themselves. This was a weekly chart of uh, Kaveri seeds and I, I had brought uh, a number of these uh, elements in. So you, you can quickly see what had happened over here. Uh, or you could move, uh, you can look, you can load up a chart that you had saved uh, in a long time back. Okay, this is taking some time to load. But we're going to quickly see how we can also do this with FNO and change the time frames to say five minutes. And if you change it to five minutes, you get the five minute chart. This is of the Nifty one month future. I could change this to the Nifty 7900 call option. And again, use a five minute chart. You can use a 30 minute chart as well, just bunches in automatically, just like your client side tools would do. And uh, these uh, charts are available for you for use anytime you want. The data is a little delayed, but not uh, by too much. Uh, you also have, uh, for instance, let's see if this has been done. This hasn't yet. So I think we've had a little bit of a problem with the data. So let me just reset that. Uh, however, on FNO, you have, you've got a bunch of other things as well. So we've, uh, the charting system is exactly the same. We just have more symbols in FNO. 
that you could use. So one of the, uh, for, so for instance, uh, just to give you an idea of uh, how how much you can use, we've talked about nifty straddles, nifty strangles. You could use options. You can use uh, certain months options themselves. We've got continuous futures for you. So. One of the, uh, uh, well, let's go back to the presentation and just look at each of these. We've got um, uh, projections, positions, like we talked about profits, losses, patterns, the log charts going to weekly time frames and so on. We hope uh, this is informative enough for you to at least begin using charts. We'll have a lot more coming in with webinars and videos where we will use our own charting to explain a number of technical concepts. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Do visit us, take a look. We've got a bunch of stuff that comes in through Capital Wine Premium and that includes macronomics, uh, option analysis, our virtual portfolio, smart caps, and much more. Thanks for watching.